Hello and welcome to another video for you on uh, Multi Commander, uh, available from their website as shown there. And it's uh, it's it's nice to have a, a file manager, which is what it says there for professionals. Uh, basically, it, it's a program that allows you to um, have um, file files managed on your machine from one to the other. If you you know when you Tile, uh, you can tile a window on one side of the screen and the other side uh, so you can copy and paste um, files from one to the other or folders from one to the other but if you have a program that does it for you, a very very powerful program uh, which is available well free, it's an alternative to the standard Windows Explorer and it, it's, um, when you're working with lots of files every day, it makes it fast and efficient, as it says here. And it's op used on operating systems uh, shown for Windows listed here. And I've, I've got it on Windows 7, and you can I've got it on Windows 8.1. It works fine. And uh, there's lots of diagrams and uh, features. You can have a look on their website for more. Uh, you can zip files, the layout, there's picture tools, uh, file operation, main interface, um, etc. And um, so, yeah, um, go back. This is what it looks like. You can download it from there. Um, I've already installed it. Once you install it, um, it looks like this. And now there's a new version, and from time to time, whether there's a new version available, you can update it, and I'll do that now for this video. And um, you can see this is 32-bit, uh, and have a look on their website, which operating system and which version you want. And you click, there's a portable version, or you can install it. I've decided to install it on my machine, which is why I do. So update it from there, enter your password, admin password and you got to close the window and it does it for you as you can see and once the windows closed and all the other windows are open it says it's ready to update make sure you do not have multi commander running so that's important and then just let it run through its default which is what i do it's a new version and it's pretty quick to install or update when when there's an update and I've used not the Windows uh, format. I've used the, the its default, its own one. You start command commander from there, and you get two tiles, and you get lots of tips. Uh, you can check tips here, and I've left it. If you don't want to show, you just untick that, close that. So there's your two window panes from one side to the other. Uh, you can then refresh, view, pictures, edit, copy, all these shortcut commands are there and it lists your drives on your machine uh, there's a notepad shortcut uh, it's one in there as well so you can open notepad uh, it's really handy and you've got a uh, calculator shortcut for command window and registry file registry file so it goes to the reg user software so really good and you can then select your drives from there so I can do say downloads and on the left you select the other one and then you know you can then uh, check uh, documents uh, you can just right click on that sorry just select that it goes red and then you can then once you've selected it it copies it automatically to the path on this side whether it's an external USB drive or, or within the same machine or your network even a network uh, you can select from here portable network etc so say I put it in this side you must select it again right you must select it because I clicked on this side then copy and then you quickly shows the path to copy to and it's okay and it's put it there so it's copy that file over you can select several you can do a wildcard search and select all of them uh, you can select 
show all, select all, etc., and copy them over. Uh, or you can um, unselect all. There's loads of, and it does it like that. And you can move the file. So if I delete that, say, on this side, uh, let's delete that. Okay, and then you can move this. You can use the keyboard command C uh, or um, use the mouse or these function keys. You can delete, you can use notepad, play music, loads of things, task manager, uh, select images, mp3. And then there's lots of <clears throat> options here as well. Copy, uh, zip, so you can uh, zip a file. So if I zip this one, uh, uh, that one, so it zips it in that format. You can select a format, uh, seven zip, whatever. I'll leave that as it is. And then click OK. It'll select target automatically and it zipped it on that side um, and it opens it up very quickly even shows all hidden files you can do the tree selection if you click this one and tick that you can do the root uh, select every all the hidden files as well and go back to your C drive or your folder um, yeah and then you can lay out this I've got it set like that uh, the view is menu bar and you can do a vertical layout uh, let's see yeah, you can do compare folders and missing etc the view explorer panel so you can show hidden uh, select that show system files and view mode details you can do list so it does list here, so if I do it again and show you uh, view mode details, it does the details with the time and directory. Um, the, you can do a split of 50-50 or 75-25, 50-50, uh, etc. Uh, you can do vertical layout, which I don't really like. Uh, put it back to untick that same one uh, what else you can add a folder change color um, so lots of features and you know, it's good to start once it's installed it and uh, this version is uh, yeah it's, it looks complicated but once you've installed it just leave the default settings and select the the Explorer which is not the Windows one and it looks like that so yeah, hope you like the video. Thanks for watching and uh, bye for now.